Hey guys, I'm Garrison from BlenderGuys.com and today I'm going to be showing you how to create this fire hydrant. So, open up a new scene in Blender, delete the cube, shift A, add circle, and set it to 21 vertices. That's very important. And we'll hit N, scroll down, and check background image, and open the image. I got this one off Google Images that one and we just want to line it up so the center line right here is is lined up with the cursor so ah, pretty good negative 0.8 works for this picture but it depends what you're using tab and edit mode E Z extrude along the Z this time we'll E S scale it down so we're basically going to be extruding to here, here, here. So we'll just keep doing that. This is this part's a little too small. So I'll size shift Z, so I'll scale on everything but the Z axis. Hold down Alt and right click to select an edge loop. E, S, scale it down. E, bring it up on the Z. So pull it up to this very top line, scale it down so it's about that same size, and hit Control R and scroll your mouse wheel till there's two lines. Click and just start scaling these lines up till it looks like a fire hydrant top. I'll pull this down a little and I'll E and for this top area I'm going to hit E right click Alt M at center and that'll just form a face there. And now if we're at the bottom, select this E S and we're gonna hit E S. I'm gonna put one right there and E right click Alt M at center. Okay. Now we need to extrude this ring of faces, so it E, size, shift Z twice. There. Next we're going to do these side cap type things, so tab and edit mode, select these two edge loops, hit shift S, cursor to selected, shift A, add cylinder. We're going to change the vertice count to 20 and the cap fill type to nothing. I'm going to rotate this on the Y by 90 degrees and go over to your pivot point and change it over to 3D cursor. Drag this out then just scale it down to about that size. Then select this E change back over to median point We're going to extrude one more time right there. Then hit Control plus, Control plus, Shift D, and move it along the Y. Then select these two edge loops, W, Loop Tools, and Bridge. Okay, now select this edge loop, E, X, about right there, E, X, scale it down, add one more loop cut, scale this loop cut up, and 
and for this end we'll do the same click E right click alt M at center and there's one side and we'll select the whole thing by selecting over C and hitting control L change back over to 3D cursor shift D rotate on the Z 180 there's another one and we'll do that one more time rotate Z no shift D rotate Z 90 and we'll just scale this one up deselect this part and pull it in a little bit just get it so it's a good size because you don't want it to be too big so we could scale this up just a bit more but now it's too long pull this in deselect this part I'm thinking that's too big yeah I think that looks good next we're gonna add the bolts so you can see in this right here there's a bolt 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 so there's like about eight eight so I am gonna be adding I'm gonna be using an add-on called the bolt factory you can find it by going to file user preferences click on add-ons and type in bolt and there's bolt factory check that little box shift a add mesh bolt and you can tell that it made a very nice bolt everything's good right there just drag it out go back into median pivot point pull this down right there we'll scale it down so it fits the background picture tab into edit mode select this portion hit Y and then pull it down Shift A, add bolt again, but this time change it over from bolt to nut. And pull it down here. And there's one bolt. Okay. So select everything and go back into. 3D cursor and RZ shift D RZ 180 select that that one again shift D RZ 90 select them all shift D RZ 45 and there's all those bolts for down there we'll select these so just take this side grab Z and we're gonna make the top row back into median and about right there I think that'll work back into 3D cursor shift D R Z 180 shift D R Z 90 shift D R Z 45 there and we can join them control J next we're gonna add a sub surf modifier subdivision surface level one's fine right now hit smooth and right now it looks really bad because we need to sharpen these up this might take a while in fact I'll turn this down right now just to sharpen things up after sharpening those up, next we're going to add these dents right here. So go into face select mode, select these two, these two, these two, these two. And that's why we added 21 vertices so that we would have an e even two, one, two, one. 
hit E, S, Shift Z twice. Then we'll add loop cuts to sharpen these up, hitting Control R. Then we're going to sharpen it up even more. Okay, now we'll get into texturing. So, change over to Cycles and go into the Materials tab, add a new one, click on, or name it, Fire underscore Hydrant. And we're going to open up a new window. This one we're going to change over to the Node Editor. So, we want to make this a complete red, but the value to 0.5. Nice dark cranberry red type look. We add a mix shader because we're going to mix the diffuse with a glossy to add a more metallic look to it. But if you drop down this preview tab, you can tell that it looks awful right now. So set the roughness to 0.1 and the factor amount to 0.1. That'll look much nicer. Next we're going to add a texture to it. So we're going to shift A, add texture, and click on Verani texture. Plug the factor into the displacement and set the scale to 700. And change it over from intensity to cells. Then we'll go over and add a vector, a math node, and set it to multiply, and the value to 0.01. So that'll decrease the amount of displacement. And that's all for this um, shader. If you want to see it rendered, go over to Render Viewport Shading. Go over here and select the lamp. Change it over to Sun use nodes and three. And there it is. That looks pretty good. So for my other scene, I made a little scene for it, but you can do whatever with yours. So I hope you enjoyed this video tutorial and I hope you learn something from it. See you next time.